All right, guys, let's do some train shenanigans. What do you say? <laughs> let's see. <laughs> All right. Who's ready? <laughs> All right. So we went to a train show <laughs> and we got some new things. And uh, I think we ought to play with them. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we'll just start with the, uh, well, I don't know if I'd call it the best thing, but one of the best things. And uh, actually, let me get the chat open here. Um, always forget that little part. Let's see. Figure out where it is. There it is. All right. I appear to be the first one in the chat. Yay! <laughs> I don't like for people to feel like they're being ignored. That's not cool. All right. So let's see here. Let's start with, uh, like I was saying before, I spaced out and forgot I didn't have the chat. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start the uh, standard gauge, which we got at the last train show. This guy is quite sharp. Watch it. So cool. Just wow. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased with this guy. Uh, it appears that somebody has gone through him and uh, fixed all the things that are typically wrong. <laughs> with these guys, uh, like the wheels and the wires and the uh, lamp holders, and uh, I couldn't be any more pleased with this if I had to be. <laughs> so, all right, cool, 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 cool. So, one of the other things that we got, and I had not heard of this before, was a unique art uh, locomotive. And uh, one of my people in the uh, last live stream told me that it would connect to a regular, like Lionel type couplers. Uh, so thank you for that tip because otherwise I'd have never known. <laughs> so all right, so we have some, actually these are K-Line uh, boxcars behind it and then I believe it's a uh, Lionel caboose. But uh, anyway, let's see if I can get him going. I put a light bulb in him, so <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, that light bulb was stuck, or the old light bulb was stuck in there pretty doggone good. But we got it out with only a slight injury to my finger. <laughs> Toys could be dangerous, guys. All right, so check that out. Wow. That is... Uh-oh. Well, you know, <laughs> they just don't like for me to sit down, do they? All right, well, you know, I, I guess I got to go fix it. <laughs> Darn it. Doggone it. <laughs> All right, be right back. Already. All right, so I am back. Hello, Gingsman. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's all right, so I think I have everything fixed here on the uh, unique art. I'm not sure what it caused that, actually. So uh, we'll see. We'll see soon enough. You know, everything works flawlessly until I start the live stream. <laughs> I think that's just the general uh, rule of a uh, live stream. <laughs> it's gonna work that way. All right, so the other night I did kind of a video and I ran the uh, steering gauge. I feel like I ran it too much, so I want to watch for that tonight. don't want to run it too much at any given time. They are not a lot of fun to repair, and it's actually quite expensive. <laughs> so we uh, definitely want to watch out for him. So all right, so what next? What else? What can we do? So I think we'll get this uh, bicentennial locomotive going, and uh, this will probably be the last time that we run him for a while. Not that not that I'm not enjoying it, but I mean we've I think we featured him in the last uh, I don't know six of six <laughs> live streams, and uh, he is fully repaired now and uh, fully up to the task. So it's time for somebody else to uh, get on that track probably and show off. So all right, let's get him going. I am quite quite impressed with that bugger we put in there. Just, I mean, effortless. 
very, very cool. <laughs> could not ask for anything better. Really couldn't. Alright, so, uh, one of the things I did since the uh, last live stream is I repaired the uh, pickup that fell off of the uh, Mega Flyer Blue Comet. And uh, so now he works again. Uh, what had happened? Well, what happened is that uh, during that last little train pilot we had, uh, apparently that little uh, retainer that holds him on got bent a little bit, so it didn't have enough tension to hold him on there. And so it was just a matter of giving him a little slight, slight love, <laughs> a little love with some pliers, and he's good to go again. So all right, let's uh, let's get him going. Let's stop talking about it. Let's just do it. All right. Yes. Awesome. Love it. I love it when things work. Hey, Rar, how are you doing? Caught you singing earlier. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's turn down this bison to him. He's going like way too fast. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take a liberty and give the standard gauge a little bit of a break. Like I said, I think the other night we probably ran him just a little bit too much. Uh, you know, new toys. <laughs> so, all right. Um, getting a warning that says something. Uh, let's see what this says. Does it say I'm not doing anything, or what does it say? Um, please configure both primary and backup streams correctly. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I'm going to ignore it because I am uh, pretty sure it's working. You know, I could probably look on my phone and see. All right, let me do that just because I don't know what that warning means. Likely it's not, it means nothing. So let's see. Let me see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops. Let's see, live. There we go, let's see what we see. No, it looks good on the stream, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, cool. I don't have any clue what that what that warning means, but uh it can just stay. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this uh, GB9 going. It's always a kind of a crowd favorite. Okay, for a second there, I thought he wasn't gonna start. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. You know, everything works prior to the stream. Everything. <laughs> Always. Alright, he's going. He's going kind of at a slowish pace, which I kind of like. So, alright, over there on the far end, we had to replace... Well, we didn't have to replace, but we replaced the... Uh, hold up for a second. <laughs> Something just went weird. Okay, yay. Now I, I don't know why, but I couldn't see my chat there for a second. <laughs> Uh, let's see what that is. There we go. Now I can see it. Doing good here, Arar. Doing good. Running trains, being happy. It's so, alright. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Over there on the other side, we had to change out the uh, the Diamond Jubilee. Um, the marks over there. I think we wore out his brushes. I ordered some new ones today, but uh, it will take a minute or two to get them. In the meantime, I switched it out to this other, this other Mark's locomotive, and I'm actually not quite sure what he is because somebody has restored him and repainted him and renumbered him and uh, so I really don't know <laughs> but in any case he works really well and we're just gonna give him, give him a little bit of run a little bit of time here I haven't actually uh, run this guy a lot since I've had him so uh, he kind of needs it there he goes he works pretty well you know I don't know this but I rather suspect the same person that uh, restored the, uh, the blue and gold one that we have <coughs> restored this one. And uh, I have no basis for that other than it, the paint job looks kind of the same and the uh, mechanicals and the way they did it looks kind of the same. You know, kind of fingerprints. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's get this um, MTH going. The other night we had him stopped on the, uh, the crisscross and... Uh, exactly the spot that he couldn't get power so that was kind of embarrassing because he always works there you go just flawless loving it loving it so all right as you probably have already seen <laughs> you probably already know because you know i kind of like told the world 
Uh, we bought some uh, passenger cars for the G-Scale, and they are the uh, All-Star Circuit, All-Star, yeah, it'll, it'll come out of my mouth here in a minute, All-Star Circuit <laughs> passenger cars, and they look really, really sharp behind that uh, Santa Fe uh, G-Scale. Uh, they, they do light up, but it takes like a 9-volt battery to do it, and, it, and frankly, you can't see the lights anyway, so uh, you know me, we're going to <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, reinvent that a little bit, probably, on some powered trucks or something, and light those guys up. Now my caboose on that lights up, and uh, we might could figure out some way to do that. I don't know. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get it started. They just look really, really sharp. I love that. Love that so much. It's all right. We're doing pretty good so far. All right, let's get this uh, other American flyer going, and I think that's probably this guy. Yep, there we go. That's the uh, American flyer Baldwin, and uh, he's one of my favorites just simply because he just works. <laughs> Very good. All right, so can we see any of the in scale at all? Barely. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make him just go because. You know, the other day I was showing just about this much of the end scale, and somebody goes, you know you're trained off the track, right? And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> how did they see that? <laughs> no, actually what they said was, you know, your, your uh, train car's off the track. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> better eyes than me. All right, so what else, what else, what else? Uh, we got the Mickey Mouse over here. I love the Mickey Mouse. Now, some of this stuff I'm going to switch out for other things for the next live stream because we've run some of this quite, quite a bit. I'm gonna slow down the uh, GP6 or GP, 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 or GP9. Uh, did I say GP6? <laughs> GP9. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> just pretend you didn't hear that. All right, so I'm gonna get this little Santa Fe over here going. He's, you know, I say this every time, but he's one of my favorites. <laughs> we really need to get him switched up for something else as well. I mean, he's uh, he's done his uh, dues on entertaining us. All right, so Mickey Mouse. Let's see which one is he. I believe he's this one. And then we got to turn on the the uh, whatever you call this, the Lion Chief Control. And uh, usually I start him first because that way you can hear the uh, the horn blow, but. Probably not now. Well, <laughs> I hear nothing. I kind of hear it. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. All right. So uh, in any case, let's get it going. There he goes. Bye. So awesome. <laughs> so all right. Uh, uh, so far, everything is working fairly well. I probably just jinxed it, so that means everything will crash and burn here in a minute. Oh, I hope it doesn't literally burn. <laughs> Actually, I hope it doesn't crash either, but... Alright, so I need to slow down this Mars. Because he is being just a little too eager over there. Uh, those marks have a, a tendency to go faster as they uh, warm up. So you kind of got to watch them because they will sneak up on you and they will fly off the track. Alright, so let's see here. I can do that American Flyer over there, I suppose. Uh, well, he's not going. <laughs> so that's one down for tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, I got the, I got another one. <laughs> I'm not sure why he didn't go. Well, that one was going. I just turned him off for some reason. All right. So uh, I only represent one of the steam steam locomotives for the American Flyer tonight, I guess. So he's only running by himself because I cannot, for the life of me, keep those cars attached to <laughs> to these steam engines. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch them out. And uh, for all your for all you American Flyer purists, you might want to hold your ears. But I'm going to switch them out to the knuckle type couplers, which is the later type coupler. I know that's a little taboo, but I kind of like to run my trains and I kind of like things to work. <laughs> All right, so what else have we got? We could go ahead and start back up the uh, spinner gauge. He's probably rescued enough. So I think when I go and get that other standard gauge locomotive that we bought that we still have not seen, <laughs> I think we'll do a video where we just kind of compare all of the standard gauge stuff that we have so far. And that might be kind of fun, I think. Um, 
because you know we've got you know stuff that's really really early then we got stuff that's you know the later iteration the uh, Lionel remake so that autumn or that might be a fun comparison I don't know all right I'm having fun I really am so all right it is currently 8:47, and I'm gonna try to <laughs> try to have this all shut down by 9 30 uh that's uh, that's the plan. It never seems to work out that way because I get lost lost in time <laughs> when we're doing the train stuff. All right, so uh, so far everything looks pretty happy. Everything looks like it's working really well, which means that something six can probably go wrong. <laughs> oh goodness! So I'm really curious why that uh, one mega flyer isn't going over there with steam engine. Uh, you know, I don't know. He was off the track, and I put him on the track, but you know, he just has decided that he's going to say no tonight, apparently. So I did look at some uh, S, S gauge uh, fast tracks today, and I'm wondering if that might be an answer to some of our some of our track woes. I don't know. Heard some very mixed reviews on that, so I'm not really sure what to think. All right, very, very cool. That, uh, <laughs> that Bison Daniel train is really, really showing off tonight. The other night we went to run them and uh, apparently there was something on the track and uh, I think it came off of my shoe is what I think. Uh, probably some cleaner when I'm off the floor. Or, I don't know. <laughs> and anyway, it was like slipping and sliding. I was like, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but he's working fine tonight, so that's bound to have been what it was. So I'm gonna slow him down a little bit. I think he's he's going a little too fast, showing off just a little bit too much. All right, well, you know I don't really know, but I, I feel like this is looking pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's just now Tuesday in the uh, in the week, and I hope you guys are having a good week so far. At least we got past Monday. Mondays always tend to be kind of error. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's a, a few things on my calendar tomorrow that I'm kind of sort of dreading, but, you know, we will see. I bet I get through it either way, and I bet I get home to uh, play with the trains. So, I guess... If that happens, uh, then everything worked out well. <laughs> oh goodness! So I'm looking forward to lighting up those uh, those G scale uh, passenger cars. Uh, just got to figure out a way to do it because I know it's going to look really, really sharp when I do. All right, so I think this may be the longest that everything has run without just totally screwing up. So. Uh, Likely it's not, I just changed it. <laughs> oh goodness. So cool. It's just, this has got to be like the best hobby ever. So if tomorrow does turn into be turn into a stinker of a day, we can always come home and run trains and uh, kind of reset ourselves. <laughs> It's funny how that works, but it does work. All right, so let's see. I'm kind of not digging the music that's playing at the moment. I like that word, digging. <laughs> so let's see what I can do about that. I know I can do something. I just got to figure out which one's playing. So let's see. I'm go to the next one. Let's see. Ah, I like this one better, yeah, I think. <laughs> So, uh, somebody asked once upon a time, and I don't remember who it was, but uh, we get our, get our music from uh, Epidemic Sound, and they didn't pay me to say that. Uh, so far, the service has been pretty good. Um, you just pay a flat monthly fee, and you don't have to worry about copyright strikes or any ridiculous stuff like that. <laughs> I've always wondered on these channels where, you know, like, you have uh, people doing covers of songs and stuff, how they don't 
get the copyright strikes. I don't I haven't quite figured that out. Not not all that abreast with the YouTube rules, I guess. So I kind of err on the side of caution. I quite enjoy the people that do the uh, the live streams with the uh, like the live music. That that really appeals to me. So one of the channels that does that is uh, I think the uh, I think the channel name is Sky18, and uh, they have some really good stuff on there. I mean, it's just like wow. And then you know they'll have like uh, guests that come in and sing as well, but. Uh, it is quite enjoyable. I mean, if you like live music, you might like that. I mean, once again, <laughs> they didn't pay me to say that or anything, but uh, it is really cool, and I enjoy it quite a much, quite a bit. Spend a little bit of time there. All right, guys. Well, this is awesome. So I'm getting all kinds of <clears throat> errors and weird messages on <laughs> on YouTube tonight. But the good news is that. I always have a backup, I always have the uh, DVR here, the uh, local DVR, and so you'll get a nice clean copy for those that view this later. Uh, we learned that the hard way, sometimes my internet is not the world's best. So I don't I don't think we'll have any like singing on my channel because <laughs> that would really be horrible on, on uh, trying to stream if you had like a bad internet connection, internet connection that <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. So on this next uh, round, I'm going to let the standard gauge rest. Um, I think I said this before. Actually, I know I said it before, but you know, if you just like fast forward into this part or whatever, I think the other night we probably ran him a little too much out of the excitement of him being new. <laughs> so I had, <clears throat> pardon me, I had not ever heard of unique art. Trains until I got this this guy, um, and uh, so as best as I can tell, these came out in the 50s, and they were kind of a hmm, competitor, I guess, to Marx, and uh, Marx sued them, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, uh, I think uh, I think all the all the model train companies at one time or another have sued one another. <laughs> Just it's like who would think that. Uh, you know, things that bring so much joy would have such legal, <laughs> legal strings and entanglements. But apparently they do. Apparently they do. All right, guys. This is really, really fun. I cannot get over how well everything is acting and uh, behaving. And this is uh, almost unheard of. Uh, I think I've sat down for, what, a solid five minutes <laughs> without having to get up. That's crazy. That never happens here. Never, never, never. Well, I guess I can't say never because, uh, yes, here we are. So I'm going to slow down this uh, the little Santa Fe over here. So I'm not sure what we will run next on these tracks. I um, only have one other G-scale locomotive. It's a smaller steam type engine. So we may we have to run the, uh, well we don't have to, but we may still run the uh, G-Scale Santa Fe. The, I feel like that uh, MTH on the crisscross track has <laughs> done more than his share to uh, entertain us, so we will probably relieve him with something else over there. Uh, we have, you know, plenty of stuff, it's just, I get my favorites and things that behave, and that's what I tend to run. So what's looking good, what's looking bad? You know, as far as I can tell, it's all good. This is kind of crazy. All right, so I'm gonna check out this error message that I got here. Oops. I'm not sure how I keep doing and undoing this, but okay. All right, so let's see. Oops. All right, so. We're not sure. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to ignore it because I know it's going to the uh, to the local DVR, and so yeah, we can do whatever it wants, I guess. All right. Very cool. 
so the chat is really quiet tonight. So I don't know. Something else going on tonight? Maybe. <laughs> well, that's that's okay because you know you guys can watch this at any time. You don't have to watch it live. And uh, frankly, I don't have a schedule. I don't do a schedule because I never know what the heck I'm going to be doing. I didn't know I was going to be doing this 30 minutes before I was doing it. So there you go. Kind of hard to plan for something you don't know about. All right. This is awesome. Loving, loving, loving this. So the uh, the hobby shop that I bought the uh, other standard gauge that we're going to go pick up this week is a couple miles from my office. And I don't know exactly when I'm going to make it there, but it will be sometime this week. And uh, I can hardly wait, so it'll be the uh, first available opportunity. It'll probably depend on what exactly is going on and what kind of day I have. <laughs> Or days I have. Uh, sometimes the days tend to be a little insane. <laughs> okay, they tend to be a lot insane. <laughs> uh, we tend to have uh, meetings about meetings, and then we'll have follow-up meetings about the about the same meetings. And uh, by the time you're done, you uh, basically sit through the same meeting three, four, five times. But, on the other hand, uh, you know, we want it to be right, we want it to be good. I like it to be good, because that's, that's me, that's my job. <laughs> and I'm pretty good at it, so, yeah. Alright, so let's see if that ugly message disappeared before, or what's going on. I don't see it now. It's alright. Um, I wonder if I could see the... Let's see. Your stats. Alright, well... I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. All right, well, I'm gonna assume everything's good. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> All right, so back to the train. Back to the good stuff. So I see that the American Flyer uh, blue comment over here has stopped. I cannot tell you why. may have snapped off on Breaker. Not sure what else is on that Transformer. I can find out here in a minute though. Alright. Uh, currently the uh, currently the uh, little uh, little center really is on the same deal. So, alright. I'm not sure what happened. I wonder if his little pickup came off again. I'm going to stand up to look. Hey, Paul. How you doing, bud? All right. Let me stand up and see if I can see what the deal is with that guy. He was working so well. <laughs> Can't see from here, so I'm just going to stand up, I guess. All right. Let me take a second.
All right, so this is the first time that's ever happened. I lost power to the track. <laughs> it wasn't, didn't have anything to do with the train at all. I wonder if that uh, has anything to do with the uh, pickup falling off last time. Maybe it messed it up or something. In any case, it's working now. All right. You know, one of the people in uh, the last live stream told me, Paul, that the uh, Lionel type couplers will just slip over that big coupler on the back, and he was right. So that that was excellent, excellent, uh, excellent advice, or you know, an excellent observation, because otherwise we'd be just, we'd be just running them by himself. Those are actually uh, K-line cars, but they have the same coupler as Lionel. All right, so let's, uh, let's run this, the standard gauge. We're not running him too much at any one time. Uh, we ran him the other night, and probably I ran him too much. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. I just don't want, don't want there to be anything wrong with him. The uh, repairs on that little motor tend to be pretty doggone expensive when things go wrong. So, Paul, I was saying earlier that I think... Uh, after tonight, we'll probably uh, take the uh, bicentennial locomotive off off the track and run something else. So I think I think, I think we've run them in the last six of six <laughs> live streams. So uh, time to run something different. Although I really enjoy seeing them go. Uh, definitely have proved his uh, his hardiness now, and uh, I am I'm mighty proud of that, frankly. So I replaced that, uh, the front uh, light bulb on that, the new, the unique art locomotive and uh, boogered up my finger. <laughs> finger pretty good doing it. Man, it, that, uh, that old light bulb was stuck in there good. Uh, I looked at a couple of, a couple of them on uh, eBay and apparently that uh, the socket is prone to rust pretty good or corrode or whatever, but uh, I didn't get it out and I got the new one in now. When it burns out, I don't, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but uh, something a little bit different than what I did last time. So let's see, what has crashed? What has, <laughs> what has happened? You know, I, honestly, I think everything is working really, really well tonight. The only thing that's not working is one of the, one of the American Flyers there on the big loop. And I think that's probably it. A track issue. Thinking about getting some uh, S, S scale uh, fast track for those uh, steam locomotives. I know that that's like kind of taboo and kind of controversial, but I'm having a heck of a time with this tubular track for some reason with those steam locomotives. So I, I think it would be, <clears throat> be worth a shot to try it. A little bit of money, but. I don't know. I kind of miss, <laughs> miss seeing them go. That, and I'm thinking about changing out those um, those hasp hasp type couplers to uh, the later uh, knuckle type couplers because I just cannot seem to get those uh, uh, train cars to stay behind those steam locomotives for some reason. Now, I never notice that they come apart until something crashes. <laughs> yeah, I had never heard of a unique art either. Um, apparently, they were largely a toy company. Uh, uh, Tin litho type toys, very similar to Mark's. And then they, uh oh, we just lost the standard gauge fell off the track. That's okay. Uh, anyway, they uh, apparently made the tin, tin litho toys very similar to uh, Mark's, and then they kind of dabbled into the, uh, the, the train world, and uh, Mark sued them. <laughs> so there's not a lot, a lot of them out there, and most of them are the uh, steam engine, and uh, in my opinion, I think this diesel looks far superior to the steam engine that they have also, so I, I feel like we got lucky on this guy. Alright, I know what happened to the spinner gauge. It has nothing to do with the, 
the uh, train at all. Uh, that's the same spot the uh, train train track came apart last night. So uh, apparently I got a, a loose joint or something over there. I have some of those uh, standard gauge. Uh, I don't know what you call them. The, the joiners that keep it keep it from sliding apart, but they are already at the other building, so uh, <laughs> I don't have them here to use. So I may wander over there and try to put the track back together. Um, I think things are running slow enough tonight that I can probably do that without causing any major <laughs> any major catastrophe. The other the other night, uh, I don't know if it's the last live stream or the live stream before that. It's like one little thing happened, and then I I <laughs> I personally <laughs> caused about everything in that loop to just just go crazy. No, uh, not, you know, just wreck. <laughs> train, train catastrophe. All right, let me get over there, and I'm going to get it all back together, and I'll be right back. It won't take a second. No, Paul, the, uh, the standard gauge has a switch. Uh, later versions had an E-unit. This one does not. My uh, 10E is the same way. It's got a switch. I, I bypassed the switch on the 10E because the, uh, the switch was, was bad, warped, and I couldn't find another one. The uh, steam locomotive I have, I don't remember the number, sorry, but... <laughs> It's a. It's supposed to have an E unit, but somebody has retrofitted it with the other type motor, so uh, you know that somebody had some fun with that. And then the uh, the latest, I think they call it Lionel Classics or whatever it is, the remake of that steam engine. It has an E unit, and it kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> it always wants to go reverse, but it never wants to go forwards. Uh, and I have to hear the E unit to know. How to make it go forward so in a situation like this it'd be real difficult all right so i think we determined that this um this new uh, standard gauge was made around 1924 to 1926 somewhere in there that's just based on the cars that it has and the production dates that it was made so i think it's a pretty good guess Right. I can't see, or I mean, I can't wait to see 
what other <laughs> what other standard gauge uh, look what have I bought sight unseen not even knowing what it is <laughs> uh, it'd be uh, very interesting so the only thing I know is that it came with track and it runs very poorly <laughs> yeah it, it's a hundred years old uh, it's just uh, I guess the uh, the term they don't make them like they used to comes to mind So that, uh, that caboose that I have has steps, and the steps are were broken off, and they were in a plastic bag, and I came with it, but I cannot figure out for the life of me how they originally attached, so I guess I'm going to have to go online and look at some photos or something. Uh, I have another one of those, or similar, if it's not the same, uh, caboose, but I don't think it has steps either, so maybe they just all broke off, I don't know. All right. Everything's looking pretty doggone happy. So tomorrow night, I think if I go and get the other standard gauge <coughs> locomotive, what I think I'll do is I'll do a video and we kind of kind of look at uh, whatever I bought, <laughs> plus this one, plus the Finney, plus the two uh, standard gauge uh, steam engines, and we'll just kind of kind of compare them and look at them. I think that might be a cool a cool video to do. Be fun. Alright. So I don't I don't remember who it was the last live stream that suggested that I move the camera to this angle, but I quite, quite like it. <laughs> pretty soon when uh, things get rolling a little bit better I'm gonna get a, a better camera to do this uh, that one that we have tonight it looks actually pretty good but uh, most of the night the autofocus just does not just does not serve as well and then if you put it in manual it does some other funky things it was just you know, a uh, what do you call it an Amazon cheapie <laughs> it said for for bloggers and you know, live streaming, so that's probably the first clue that <laughs> it wasn't all that great. I don't know. So, anyway, you don't know what you don't know. really 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 like this new passenger cars we got I'm kind of enamored with all the uh, circus type stuff but unfortunately everybody else seems to be the same way so it seems to be uh, prohibitively expensive uh, those weren't prohibitively prohibitively expensive but most of that train that uh, circus train stuff is that and anything uh, military <laughs> military related which is a shame because I like that too not because it's you know, popular or whatever but just because I think it's cool so last year I was going to do a uh, July 4th video and uh, that's actually what spurred the, uh, the purchase of the uh, bicentennial locomotive because I didn't have anything red, white, and blue. <laughs> I didn't have anything with an American flag on it. I didn't, I was just like amazed. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I have all this train stuff and nothing's red, white, and blue and nothing has flags or any kind of nod to America or history or anything. It's just like kind of made me sad. So uh, this year we got a few things that we can do. We have that uh, Marks blue and gold locomotive that I bought and uh, got a couple of cars that I'm working on that were, well, basically they're kind of garbage, frankly. <laughs> and anyway, I, I painted one white, I painted one red, so I think that'll look really cool all together. So, uh, 
So at least we have something this year. I was looking at some Lionel ones that had the flag and I think some LED stuff on it, but those are those are kind of kind of expensive too. So um, kind of like all the things that I like, everybody else likes. <laughs> How do you like it, Paul? Is it, is it good? Or, I guess I'll, what I'll say is, do you like it? I think this may be the longest time that everything has behaved itself and performed <laughs> well. <laughs> so all right, I think this next uh, uh, next next stop, this next <laughs> round, I'm going to stop the uh, standard gauge and let him rest a minute. Uh, I'm sure he's fine, but I'm a little paranoid about that guy. So who makes that, Paul? Is that Lionel or is that MTH or who is that? So this is going to sound weird, but I can hardly wait for this, well not to be over, but to for when this is over for to look at the playback because uh, with me sitting here I kind of have to watch the <laughs> watch the uh, physical drains as opposed to the monitor but every time I turn my head to look at the monitor it looks super super freaking cool I love it oh wow I you know I've heard uh, Really, really mixed reviews on the uh, Lionel HO, so you have to you have to tell me how that goes, Paul. I've been scared. <laughs> I have a lot of, well, I don't say a lot, but more than a few uh, HO trains. But uh, that HO track over there is uh, well, I, right now it's out of commission because I I borrowed a bunch of it to do my my little prop over there. That I still have yet to do the video for. I'm still waiting on some more stuff, but. Anyway, my point was I have quite a few HO uh, locomotives, I just never run them because they're kind of off to the side here and you can't see anything else running when I show those. Very cool. Alright Paul, well good deal. Four by twelve is a nice size. I met somebody at the uh, the last train show that was uh, telling me they had a four by eight in the garage, and uh, his wife is waiting for him to clean it up. <laughs> As in, like you know, take it away. <laughs> I said, is that happening? He said, no. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> So the, uh, the train show prior to that, when I ran into another person that watches the channel, he says, you know, you did that video where you were going to clean up the room. He said, you didn't clean up anything. <laughs> I said, no, I straightened up and, you know, made, made everything so it you know, wouldn't collide and, you know, pick, pick things up that had fallen over. And he goes, oh, I thought you were cleaning up, you know, taking up the room. I'm like, no, 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 no. Ooh, wow, an airport. Yes. I have an airport kind of, sort of. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, it's going to sound a little crazy, but I don't, I didn't have enough room to do my airport the way that I actually wanted to do it. So uh, when I get all this stuff moved to the other location where we're going to do this, it'll be nothing but trains. Uh, you know, it won't be a house. <laughs> 
So I'll, I'll be, I'll have more options where I can set stuff up and set it up kind of permanently. And uh, yeah, I, I want to do the uh, want to do the airport and some of the uh, bigger buildings. Like I have a what is it, a hospital over there and some sort of really cool looking factory, but I don't really have a place to put them. So do you have that, like, do you have like a room for that, Paul, or do you, or is it like, you know, something that's dedicated or something you have to like take down? <laughs> When I was a child, I had a 4x8 that my grandfather built for me, and uh, he made it to where it was on pulleys and ropes, and you could like hoist it up to the ceiling so we could get the uh, the car in the garage. But you know, it was the funniest thing, it was never hoisted up, <laughs> and the car never went in the garage again. <laughs> oh, okay, so you have a basement. All right, yeah, we don't, I mean, there are some basements in Texas, but not very many. Especially not in the Houston area, they would uh, tend to be full of water most of the time. Alright, so my marks has sped up a little bit on me again. I think that's the most I have actually run that locomotive since I have owned him. Had some issues with him, with him being kind of stiff uh, when I first got him, and we had to. I take him apart then uh, what happened is somebody took him completely apart and cleaned him and then when they put him back together they had the wheels pressed on too tight so I had to kind of work and uh, jimmy those out a little bit and that works great all right yeah that's good that's a good idea put it on rollers hmm well now I hadn't thought about that So the, uh, the place that I'm moving this stuff to, it's a, well it used to be a house, kind of a farm, farm type house. And anyway, there's nothing, nothing in there, but there is some like, uh, stud walls. And I'm not going to re-close them up, uh, not on the inside anyway. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, work my layout around those. And uh, anyway, I don't know. I made a video once upon a time showing everybody and then I... I don't know. I don't guess I ever posted that. I don't know. I'll have to look for it because it's kind of cool. So the other night I saw that, uh, what's the channel? Twisted MacGyver or something like that? Yeah, I think that's the name of the channel. Sorry, sorry if it's wrong, but I think it's right. Anyway, he had this, uh, had a layout where he had, where the loops, the loops kind of came out and back around and out and back around. And I really, really like that idea. I never thought to do that. I get so many cool ideas by watching other people's channels. <laughs> so uh, if I steal that, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry actually, but yeah, I don't, and I don't think you'll mind anyway. Seems like a really cool guy. Uh, all right, so the. American Flyer Baldwin has stopped, and I'm not sure why. Uh, probably because the American Flyer steam engine that's over there on the steam transformer probably just kicked out on breaker. So let's see. That is what happened. That is exactly what happened. All right. So it's always fun to. Uh, watch these later and see how long it took me to, to realize that something had stopped. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite a while. Yeah, I really like that idea because especially from a uh, like a like a video uh, standpoint, you know, you, you see it, you see it uh, going and then coming and then going and then coming. It's, I think that's really cool and I think that's really sharp. Alright, I bet the uh, standard gauge is cool enough to run a little bit more. Let's try it out. I can't get over how well that runs. That's the only standard gauge uh, locomotive that I've ever bought that I just put it on the track and it worked. <laughs> that uh, Lionel 10E I got, oof, wow. <laughs> we went through some stuff to get him to run.
the uh, the first steam, the first steam engine, the early steam engine I got was kind of the same way, and I thought, oh well, I've done the I've done the TNE, I know what to expect, and no, I did not what, know what to expect because that uh, steam engine has a cast iron frame, and they are notorious for breaking. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, I found one aftermarket, and it worked out really well. And uh, otherwise, he would have never done again. I still need to uh, drop back and change the uh, axle bearings for him. I keep forgetting about that. He works, but only because we reversed <laughs> reversed the uh, the gears, which gave it a little more uh, teeth, and that's very limited time <laughs> uh, it's not even a fix it's a, a rig so yeah I need to do that we got really lucky on the 10e uh, that's the third motor I've had in him the first one was just completely I mean worn out uh, burnt windings and uh, the armature just I couldn't get it to stay together <laughs> And then the second motor I had, um, I don't know what happened to it. It just kind of imploded. But the uh, third motor we got, I guess third, third time's a charm. He works perfect. He works as well as this one we're running right now. All right. I'm kind of excited about getting more uh, standard gauge track that's usable. I don't think there's room to add a single another thing in here, but <laughs> if there is, we'll do it. Uh, I'm looking around, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, well, my uh, Icon Fire Bulb won't stop yet again. Hmm. Ponderous. Put that on the breaker again. So I'm thinking that probably that steam engine over there is getting a little tired. So I'm going to shut them off. I think I should well, shut off the bolt. <laughs> no problem. I can do that. Alright, so we'll get him going. I feel really lucky to have gotten that uh, American Flyer Baldwin. He is just really a nice, um, I won't call it utilitarian, but um, just a good working, don't have to worry about it, <laughs> locomotive. And, uh, sometimes that's kind of just what you want. I did look today briefly to see what kind of other S S gauge stuff we could get, and I didn't see anything that just kind of caught my eye. I was telling somebody over the over the weekend that we I have a uh, royal blue and he's quite minty. He's quite nice, but uh, I don't really trust him <laughs> on these tracks. Uh, my tracks are quite poor, so uh, maybe if we get the uh, the better, newer track, maybe I'll we'll show him off a little bit. I had him in the early days on some of the live streams, I think, but. Uh, not in a while. Alright. Man, this is good. Alright, so I said I was going to do this until 9.30, and uh, I think I will be true to my word. Uh, it's 9.31, so I'm not terribly true to my word, but I'm going to go ahead and start shutting all this stuff down, and I'll tell you guys good night then probably I'll go to sleep and dream of change, which will be good. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow I'll go to work, probably get stressed out again, and I'm going to do it all over again. <laughs> Funny how that works. There we go. So the standard gauge is stopped, and we'll stop this. Um, actually, I want to stop him over on the other side. I decided I like that, the way that looks better, the way the camera is now. I know it's weird, but whatever. Alright, so then we'll uh, stop the unique bar over here at the same. Ooh, I'll stop him too quick. He does have an e, e unit. Hello. Which actually works really, really well. Alright, well, that's good enough. And then we'll uh, do 
new comet seems to have stopped again. Uh, oh well, close enough, I guess. It's all right. We'll uh, pull this bold one over here. So sometimes parking trains is kind of fun. <laughs> all right, then we uh, GP9. Then the uh, bicentennial, I can't stop it exactly. Well, yeah, I can. I was gonna say I can't. I can't. Keep them there. That looks pretty sharp. Then on the end of the room, we'll put this G skill. I like this top pin. There we go. I like him there. And then this MTH can stop anywhere but the uh, crisscross. So that's good. That works. And then this other little marks. He can just pull over here where we can kind of see him. Kind of in front of that little station. There we go. Perfect. All right, the little Santa Fe. Get him over here. I sure do enjoy that one. <laughs> right down a little, a little S scale. I mean S scale, N scale. Hello. <laughs> yes, it's definitely time for a bit. All right, last but not least, I think we have the Mickey Mouse train. Get him stopped. All right. We didn't exactly stop where I wanted him to stop. He's a uh, line chief. <laughs> Motes are a little counterintuitive for an old man. <laughs> now he's going backwards. Why is he going backwards? Uh, well, okay. He may have to. Oops. Yeah, okay, well, you know. Whatever makes you happy, buddy. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like he's going to stop there. You know, I suspect that maybe we need batteries. Yeah. Alright, well, whatever. He can just stay with it. That's fine. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate you guys uh, for hanging out with us tonight. Um, oh, now he's backing up again. <laughs> All right, that could have something to do with the Transformer. But anyway, all right. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, we really enjoy uh, hanging out with you guys and uh, running some trains. So. For me, this is the most peaceful thing to do right before I go to bed. It kind of puts my mind at ease, makes things right with the world. And uh, that's good. Always good. All right, guys. Well, until next time, GGS Railways out.